knocked it out of the wall and got it right there. That's a great point. Some awesome color. Then got a little bevel. Cool corner notch point. Work down here. Thank goodness. O'Neill chopping behind me. Fixing to have to get out of here for a minute, but I am coming back. Hopefully, he'll have some I can show. Walked over to check on Cody and, uh, or O'Neill rather, not to cause any confusion. You got that guy right there. Nice serrated point. Smoker. You can probably still hear him scratching down there. I have never found a paleo that's been blunted. But that is a cool piece. Little Sam Patrice. If I can stay still. Cool. I was telling Clemens a while ago, I found several of these over the years. They have uh, one worked side, a needle tip, and kind of another edge that's, you know, sort of flaked and just real smooth. It's either a perforator graver or maybe even both. Uh, just hit this big old chopper. Big old thing. Petrified wood. Good tool. Perfect grip in your hand, too mess some stuff up with that thing but the killer got another Evans from this site <laughs> he's a little he's a little butthurt over there but I would be too if I saw that come out right next to me that um is a smoker it's like six or seven Evans I've pulled off this side alone and leading up to this I'd only found about four four or five complete Evans so this site is definitely uh, beefing up the Evans case, that's for sure. But one of the best features about this thing, see if I can get that, it is completely translucent. I don't know if that is catching it, but it is a killer. All right, we're gonna go try to get another Evan. Sorry, I gotta keep showing it. All right, Mill Creek Flats, still paying off for us out here. O'Neill flipped him out a little San Patrice point, which was his first uh, undeniable paleo from here. And then I showed you what I'd found earlier, and then uh, I hit this here Cool little tool, knife, some sort. Well made, little smoker. And uh, right behind that little knife blade, a smoking, smoking nevaculite point. That thing is killer. That's probably one of the best colored nevaculite points I have. And I have some cool ones. But that thing is intense. I suspect it's gonna change a little bit of color with the air getting to it, um, but that right there is killer. But it has been trumped. I believe this is a Dalton Classic, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong, but that base right there screams Dalton Classic to me. It's made, I believe it's called Oolithic Chert. It's that fossilized material. I have two 
San Patrice points made of that material and an Evans point made of that material. So they had that handy here, apparently. But, uh, there he is right there. The winner. That is a smoking point. So, uh, no, no shortage of quality and no shortage of paleo coming from here. And no shortage of, uh, cool material. Because that's actually zooming in enough. Uh, boom, right there. You can see all the all the fossils in it. Killer. And that is not a broke tip. That is uh, chiseled. Anywho, we'll get a little while longer. See what happens. It didn't take long. And he got this one here for the road. Very San Patricious. And it's got the uh, one flute on one side and the two on the other. So I don't know. If it is a San Patrice, it's definitely a later one. But man, it sure does look like one. Let us know what you think. We are headed to the house. Unless he's got something else down here. We're going to try it again tomorrow, y'all. Yeah.